markings on Sheriff Street and Mandela Avenue seemed like a jumbled mess. But in fact, they're very simple to understand. We're here with Morris Archer, the Chief Executive Officer and Engineer at Sivon's Waste Management, one of the two contractors executing the project. He'll be giving you more insight on how to easily navigate them. Now, the, the road as you see it, it's really like here it is, uh, you have two carriage. Uh, one, if, uh, one, if you enter that one, it would be turning because the road will be there to direct you, it will be turning right. And as you come along, if you enter this, if you go in straight, the road will be guiding you. You will be going straight along this, 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 um, this carriage. So I think once all the safety features are in, like the road marking, people will become, uh, it will be a different, um, people would understand the road and they would understand it, how to drive along it and that, and, and that kind of thing. Is it like four lanes, is it like two lanes? Just explain that to me and talk about the, the bicycle lanes as well. Well, the, actually at this position, you can see there are, there are three lanes, or rather four lanes. You have a bicycle lane on the, on the western side, on the western carriageway, and so you have a, a single driveway. On this side of the road, on the eastern carriageway here, you have three lanes. You have the uh, turning lane, that if you're turning right into, uh, into that street, then you have the lane that if you're going straight, and then you have the uh, bicycle lane, you know? So, um, you know, some places have three lanes, some places have four, four lanes. And wh why is that? Um, it's because you allow there are a number of streets along the, the road, and I think the whole idea is to allow you to safely turn into the, um, into the streets. So they create lane, what you call turning lanes, so that you could, um, you could um, enter the streets. Um, safely. We also spoke to the minister within the Ministry of Public Works, Diodat Indar, to understand a bit more about why this concept was chosen. This project was designed to, you know, be a uh, actually a four lane, but because of boundary lines and so on, it's it wide at some point and then it comes in a little narrow, then it goes out back, and that is because of transported boundary lines throughout the Sherry Street area. I've checked that myself. I've take, uh, taken. Uh, a uh, number of engineers and we went to measure from abutment to abutment straight down this entire carriageway from fence line to fence line and uh, you'll see that uh, different parts it, it's wider then it comes in small and that and that tells you that you know you'll have some points in the, uh, the road where it comes into two lane and it goes out back to three and four and so as you go along on Mandela side. Right? So that's why this concept was chosen. Yeah, and, and you know, if you look at the design, it's you know, it's a well put together because you have some top forms like Aegis and SRK and who are con who are the um, supervisory engineers. So and then the contractors who are painting are going um, actually precision to what the engineer designs are. Much more work still has to be done. The contractors still have to put in more lines, arrows, turning signals, and a bicycle emblem to indicate the bicycle lane before the project can be considered completed. That is if the good weather holds. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.